I can watch it. It's fine. I like that you say good stuff. I missed all of it. And yet, um, you said good stuff anyway. I appreciate it. You assume anything I say is going to be good stuff. Uh, where's the, where's the cursor? There we go. Okay. I've got a Team Numbani vote review to watch next. Should be fun. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's go switch back to the old watch screen. There we go. I will admit I almost forgot, but I didn't. We're watching the red team. Um, overall, War Rodney Hawk was a sub, so we are not looking at him. Uh, everyone else, you are on the hook. I've said this before, that is probably you guys' worst composition to run. But we, we are going to have to make it work eventually. It's also very unfortunate we didn't have a summer player, but... Uh, this is actually pretty solid. We have a Nash Mercy, uh, Nash Mercy yeah. Uh, we probably don't want to be playing the Lucio here. It's fine. Clearly you want like a Nana. I believe I tell you this and you swap to Ana. Fast, yeah, you swap to Ana. Yeah. Uh, Fire is good on this map because you can basically take this angle all the way over here, right? And you can literally just poke here, shoot anything you want to. If there's someone there, you can move up, shoot from above them, right? Then if there's someone there, you can come all the way here and shoot at people. But Fire basically has three angles all over this point. Because this is infinite, like... I always come back to cover because it is so important and no one at lower ranks uses it, uses it correctly. Um, but yeah, this is cover. If you can just poke out, especially with Farah, who can poke out, shoot and poke back in, right? Much like Hanzo can do for sniper duels. Um, you, you don't really have to aim. If you poke out and you already have an idea of where people are, you can shoot in that direction, you can poke back in, and you can poke, over that, poke back out for the next rocket and keep it up that way. If you need height, you can... You can cast the blast off the wall, which will give you a little bit of extra height. But other than that, you should be fine. Just poke, shoot at people, come back. If you get a direct, which does about uh, a direct with the mercy pocket, will do about like a bit of 160 damage. You just tell your team, and they all dive and kill the, the kill whoever got picked, got got damage, and that person gets picked. For as for everyone else, if you want to go main, that's fine. If you want to go like with this composition, you can actually take a lot of rotations if you want to attack. Considering that they're also playing uh, far ashed, it's probably a little difficult because you guys are going to get spammed out if you go below. I, I believe I told you this, but at least you can matrix it with D.Va and come out. Like usually what you want to do, if they're holding here, you can just take the long rotation, jump from here, right? Try to kill people. This will also give you rash, a good uh, shot on point if you're playing ash, which we're not, we were but uh, your Farah has a long point, and then you can just dive from here. If you want to dive from different directions, you can dive from up here, try to clear the high ground, and then you can dive again from here, right? Uh, or if you, they are playing, like, a lot of teams just play, like, all the way back here, all the way back here, right? You can, you can do is you can set up here, you can move, set up here, and then you go three, two, one, dive, and you dive the Ana up here. What I noticed you guys did a lot was just stand there and take damage. Like, we are just standing in the choke, it's a problem. Again, we are taking damage for no reason. Like, we should play here. When we decide to move out, Diva Matrixes, we move out and then we jump, right? Instead, we, like, look at our tanks. They already have health before even going in. This, this fire is causing you guys problems. You are just taking all of the spam damage. I have said this before. You... Uh, hold on. Let me... Hide. Hide chat. Um, I've said this before. What you want to do is... In dive, you want to take as little poke damage as possible because you are not a poke damage competition. You want to play closest to the cover as you can. Then you come out and dive, right? Or if you want to come out and set up, then you come out, go from cover to cover, then you set up here, you walk out and die, right? If you just stand here and take a million damage in poke damage, you're just gonna lose every fight. Like, we're already given the fire 50% all charge. Just by spamming for us for, for like 
15 seconds. And again, our monkeys have fell. Like, look how low we are when we are jumping in. We shouldn't be jumping in with this little health. That their monkey doesn't even have to do anything, by the way. Their monkey's just here, and you can just dive and kill him if you want to. Instead, you just go for the Ana, which is a good call, but we had no health, so of course our monkey's gonna die. And our fast taking damage, and our uh, diva is taking damage, and our Ana is left alone and sad because she's got basically no one to play with, so she just ties to the monkey that someone should have seen, right? And called to go on him. Your Ana's gonna dive here. Yeah. Why did we die there? We are just playing chokes so slowly, man. Like, they have Ash for spam damage and a lot of peak potential, right? Ash can do some decent spam damage, but she's got the dynamite and she's got the peak potential, especially with Mercy. Uh, they got a Pharah, which again, with the Mercy is even more spam damage. They got Dive, so they can follow up on whatever damage they do. Uh, we are just... The, taking a long time to make our engagements, which means that unlucky, which means that they just get a lot of poke damage for free. I like going Ash. Uh, Ash Kenshi was actually really, really good for a long time, and then they kind of faded a little bit because they got got nerf, but it's still solid. And now you have one peak potential. Um, okay, so again, we just don't want to eat a million damage while we rotate, that, that's the biggest problem. Let's go, let's go. Uh, okay, again, play behind cover. If you know how fast shooting you from above, don't go to the high ground, it makes it easier for her to shoot. You can probably rest that. You should probably rest that, but again, you're the south, so I'm not going to come back you, can play a lot. Good rest. We brought it the living way, this is fine. Oh. Okay, so we are gonna commit. We should definitely just commit. Look at this. Right? Someone 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 has to have seen that. I don't believe no one knows where the Ana uh, is. Because we should have seen that during rotation. We know that the mercy is there at the very least because of the beam, so we should be diving the mercy. Now I've seen Diana. Good eat, you're gonna eat the anti. We definitely should go for Diana. Right now. She dropped even. The far is dead. We didn't manage to prevent the rest, that's unfortunate, but we stay on the mercy. You could have killed the mercy. Even if you lose the mech, if you kill the mercy, it's worth it. And you're gonna lose the mech anyway. Nyok should got to pick on the mercy, that's good. Um, again, this Ana alone right here could very easily die, but we're just gonna lose the fight. Oh yeah, that's why we lost the fight. Unlucky. It, it was definitely a decent fight. We had a chance until this happened. Unlucky. <laughs> I will you guys go one more and then no you shop right now. Okay. I I I hate that you guys went Ranks Aria because your only rotations are this, which means you will eat a million fire damage, this, which means you have basically no way of contesting the point or dealing damage to them. Um like yeah, you are on point, but you are gonna take like so much damage from everywhere. And this, which means again you're gonna take a million damage from above. One, they get one, you get one, they move the... Yeah. No, like, the fight was definitely okay until... You all got poof. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the reason I don't like Ransari on this position is that your best rotation is probably this fight, because if you go up here, the Farage is gonna kill you. If you go up to here, the Farage is gonna kill you. So your best rotation is probably below. Or maybe this, if you add a Lucio, but you don't. And what you're gonna do is you're just holding the brand shield above you and taking damage from everything else.
the monkey were committed, but we can't punish it because we don't have a Lucia. If we go Brawl, we really want the Lucia. We got it high ground. Again, not ideal. They they can just the Farag the Farag can just stay here and shoot you guys and, until you die. The, the, the tanks can come in, yeah. And she's gonna kill uh, she's probably gonna brush and kill you all here, right? Yeah. And these blades, so definitely want to swap Genji now. Decent pick on the Mercy, but we are not we are not It's not she can come back faster than we can. On this defense. Okay, now we have Lucia. Now it's probably winnable. Um I I I don't think you guys have a great chance still. But at least you can probably try, right? What you want to do is just locate one of their tanks that doesn't have cooldowns and run at them. Uh, alternatively, you want to clear the high ground. Either is fine, but I will honestly go this way. Now that we have a Lucio, we can try to speed, clear the high ground, drop and try to kill whoever they drop, right? And if you have to, you can do a very long rotation, which I will show you right now, which is... You can come here, you call speed boost, 3, 2, 1 with speed boost, come here, you come all the way here, right? Then you can go up these stairs, you can come all the way here, you can take this iron as well, right? Which in Lucio you can actually do in 10, 15 seconds, and you can clear the side run. If this side run is empty, then the iron will probably play in this side run, right? And we can clear it coming that way. And it's better than going up here, because if you go here, you will get booped like 100% with the broad combo. But by now, I think you guys go below this time, but going below basically means you have literally nothing to do against them. Because if they stay on the high ground, how are you going to get them, right? Which is what they do. They just stay on the high ground. How are you going to get them? Instead, now you go below and you should have gone to the high ground this time, because with Alucio, you can actually make this and get to them before the Farah can kill you. We will go below. They already know we are there, so... They prepare, like, you're not gonna get to this Ana ever now. Um, going up the things means you die, basically. And you have your turn to try to get one of the tanks instead, but they have mobility, so we're not gonna get them. They can just go to the high ground. They get a big anti as well. Their bomb gets everyone, this is lost. Regroup and go next. We just regroup and have one more try. Uh, this is just unfortunate stuff, like... That's, that's some unlucky picks. Did you get picked in rotation? You got picked in rotation, which is unfortunate. Uh, again, we should be sticking together in rotation so that Diva can eat everything or rank and wall everything. So, yeah, yeah, it's not good. And then... Your Saria dies here. You got pushed, you were overextending. Don't play this far ahead of your Ryan. We just speed at them and we just die. So, what went wrong here? Um, we tried to play Brawl in a very divey map. And we did, like, the, we only tried to go high ground one time, which is what we could have done and maybe taken a win that way. But going this way is probably a big no no because. If you're giving up the high ground on this map, you lost already. Uh, this map basically means that if they're playing heroes with mobility, they can just jump up and you can never get them. You are never going to get them. So playing heroes without the mobility is not a good idea. And the reason we lost to die fight is... We had a chance to win and then we got booked. <laughs> At the very beginning, we also are standing a lot of time. Uh, we are standing on choke for a long time and taking a lot of damage, which means that we are diving in with half of our resources at best. So that, that's a problem. Imagine trying to dive in every time with like 200 health. It's not gonna work with your tanks on this. DPS have 100 health. Or 75 your Tracer. Actually the buff McCree is one something but doesn't matter. Just don't stand in the choke for too long, right? We just stay behind the cover and we go. Or if you want to reposition, we go to the inside where is another cover and we go. So if you want to set up here, right? 
Um, first, we take all the way here, and if it's safe, we can keep pushing. If it's not safe, we dive. We just have to dive because we don't want to poke, right? Poking is bad for dive. What you want to do is you dive either the high ground or the stairs where if you see that someone's playing there. Um, yeah. If you had if you had instead of taking all the way this fight when you went this way instead of pushing the point. You had just gotten here, and even Diana, you probably could have killed both of the supports very fast. Uh, other than that, if you go Brawl, don't go below. Brawl is just really bad if you go below. You really get the high ground. And on defense, what you do is exactly what they're doing, right? You play on either high ground. When they try to push in, you drop. You try to kill whoever's left. You go back to, up to high ground. Let's look at the... Cursor, which doesn't exist. Cursor, please. Cursor, please. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I still like that I made that my my first and for now only game mode. It's it, it happens every single stream. I don't know why, but it happens. Right, and this is the defense. Alright, so first thing first, we do have to scout. So, Panda, you come here, you tell your team what they have, right? You just play here, you wait until you see a couple of them, and once you got information on like two or three of them, you get out safety. Right now, you could probably have seen that they have a pharmacy at the least, so you can go, hey, they have a pharmacy. Nyokshu, be careful. That's, that's kind of your job, but also my job, but also everyone's job. Don't take damage, right? Don't poke. Just play safe. Ideally, this is a good position as well. Um, your diva can stay here after scouting to know the, if they're coming this way or if they're going that way. Maybe she can see them. And if they're coming main, all she has to do to come back is roll it right here. And she has boosters. So she from here, she can literally go wherever you want. But scouting, getting information, very important. Especially in dive teams. Now they're going to come this way. I believe we know that they are here. No, we don't know that they're here. We're checking. And we just run face first into them. Now that we know that they are there, we should tell our team. Are you, why are you trying to snipe an Ana from this distance, man? You're a Reaper. You're never going to kill them. This is literally basically giving them a free pick. Because if she hits you once and she hits you once, you are dead. This, this is a problem. We are wasting healing resources. Uh, we should not be doing that. We also can't engage with our team now. We use Wraith. You should be above. Like, we, we know where they're pushing. We called where they're pushing. So, why are we below? Bad jump. Why are we jumping that? Like, just walk. I like this. This position is good, though. Right? They cannot see us, but if they walk forward, they get zapped. So I really like this position. This position, I don't like because all of them can see us. Instead, play here with your monkey or jar behind your monkey. I really like the position you got, but not the position you got. Also, if you were playing here, you could have probably seen the pharmacy coming. Um, where's everyone else? I like your positioning. That's a very weird mid -tip animation. Female sent a pick, I sent in general, hold on. Did I send a pick in general? Oh, it's fine. It's it's my... Yeah, yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it. I'm not famous enough yet that I'm worried about dogs. <laughs> Maybe in the future, who knows. Um, in any case, first, bad positioning. Music, we should play Ghana as well. But I believe Music is actually not a great Ana player. Uh, Ana Mercy would be ideal for this defense because Mercy can dress and I can heal. Uh, if you are going to be playing Monkey Diva, we could be playing this, but we definitely need a Sombra to make this work because that's the meta right now and it's basically. 
hack, speed that person who's hacked and kill them. Uh, we can make this work though. Just remember we have to play Pro. This is no longer dive. If you play Moira, uh, Moira Reaper, Lucio, Monkey Diva, we cannot play it like that. We have to play it like Pro. We all have to play together. And this can actually work on this map because it is a style of brawl that even though you can get choked out, right, because you do have to get close to people, you can get up because you have the mobility. So if people get up, you follow them too. So this is a style of brawl that can actually work on this map rather than the rice area. Except that, of course, first, don't die. You're going to die, you the dynamite. Oh my god. That was so close. Um, but we basically split. Don't go at the pharmacy by yourself. You're never gonna win that 1v2. Never mind. Lucio killed her. Prevent the rest. Prevent the rest, right? We know she died there. Good prevent. We kill the mercy. We regroup. Nice. We kill the pharmacy. In the meanwhile, because they are down, they are now retreating. So now we. Don't chase past the choke because we're going to get picked. Don't drop. This is fine. This is fine. We'll just come back. We regroup. Okay. Could have been a little better. I'm saying that's okay. Good job, Warren Hawk, who was a, <laughs> a diamond level support ringer that we had. So pretty solid. Also, I think a Lucio main because they were really wanting to play Lucio whenever they could. Music, you have to play here. If you're playing Moira, you have to play here. Why? Because if you play here, you can just get spammed very easily. And if you drop, then you cannot get any healing. On the other hand, if you play here, it's harder to spam you out. And if you drop, that's fine, because you're going to be with the team, right? Your team is either going to be here or on point. We are just waiting, this is fine. Uh, we should be scouting a little bit more, saying well, where, are they going to be? where they are they going to be coming from. But other than that, I don't dislike just waiting because they are the ones that have to engage, right? Right now we are just paying time. Also, we just we should notice that they just swap to Reversaria, which means, honestly, I, I believe I said it during the stream, this favors you guys a lot. Like, for real a lot, because D.Va is really good against Reaper. But Saria is not that good against Reaper. All you have to do is focus the Reaper down when they engage, because now they also want to run at you, right? Because they have a Reaper, but because you have a Lucio and they don't, if you don't want to take the engagement, you can speed out, or you can speed into them and they cannot run away. And if they try to get value from the Reaper, you just put the DM on him for a couple seconds, you kill him before he does anything, and then you're good, because the Reaper is basically the entire damage. We are playing in the open, we shouldn't be playing this much in the open. I'll repeat that a couple of times through the, the stream. But, uh, don't, don't, don't take this much spam. There is no reason to take this much spam damage. Like, if we were playing here, we could have reacted this faster. Also, we didn't scout that they went back, or if we scouted, we didn't react fast enough. We let them get through the choke, which is very unlucky. Uh, I believe this is still winnable, though, because... They didn't actually push through the choke, like they got to the choke and stood on the choke, which is really bad. Yeah, you get a pick and you can probably push for another pick. Yeah, good, well done. Not ideal, but they never push and we have a Lucio and they don't. So they cannot speed past the choke and we can just speed at them. So it's probably good enough for now. And by the way, I will remind you, we are not playing dive anymore. We, we are basically playing brawl. Monkey Diva Brawl, which I'm fine with, because if you guys play Monkey Diva Brawl and this on this map, you have mobility to get to the high ground, and you can still brawl. And help Kiddies, Kiddies can get out, okay, good. So that on the high ground again. That's an okay rest, we, we couldn't have prevented that one. So that on the high ground again. We should be all calling, we know that they have Rush, we know that they have Nano. I think someone called Grab, but they just swapped to Saria, so they don't have Grab. I could check, but it would mean bringing my own recording of the game up, and I don't want to do that mid-game. 
can don't take the one b two. If your Lucio is with you, then you can probably take the two b two instead, right? Because Lucio can actually heal you and get you closer to them and distract them. But one b two, you're never gonna win. And if you wanna take the one b two, the one you should be targeting is Mercy, not Farah, because you're never gonna kill burst kill the Farah. You can do it; it's difficult. Um, because she's got the heals as well, and the Concussive Blast, and she's usually going to be playing in a much safer position. But if you see the Mercy low, you just jump at her and kill her instead. <clears throat> Take it to point, which is fine, we don't have to... You are forced to drop, which is unlucky you're gonna die. We don't have to, cont to contest the point with 200% of everyone, right? We don't have to all go to point. <clears throat> This indeed got cancelled. I was gonna say got cancelled here, but he actually just bombed. <coughs> uh, and by cancel, I mean blocked by the monkey bubble. But no, still get. Yeah, this fight is won. I don't see how you could lose it. Just focus to Saria, and you guys should have it. We did use one, two, three ults, but they used two ults, so it's okay. That's unfortunate, and we also let the Mercy rest. Uh, Giddies, I will say this again, you are pooping everyone away from your team. Which is very unfortunate. Uh, focus on healing, don't focus on damage. That's it. I know you're trying to kill the Pharah, but keeping your Reaper alive is more important. Keep your tanks alive is more important. Kill it eventually, but two people are already dead, yeah. I'm very surprised we lost after that two big theorem. <coughs> but we let them wrestle free and we never coordinated. Give this pop primal and kept booping people away from our team, which makes it harder to hit them. So don't boop. Like, if you're gonna primal, focus one person down, right? Don't just go in and boop everyone around because then your team is like, I literally cannot shoot anyone anymore. Just focus someone down and try to get that single person. <clears throat> we just lose. Let's move on. Waste of fault. No way you win this, so. Uh, okay. I believe I told you guys that you can play Ryan Sari on second, on second point if you want to. And you pr probably do want to play on third. But again, if you play Monkey Diva, like their brawl, it can work. Just that I don't think you guys know how to play Monkey Diva as Brawl. Especially now without Wrath on Sombra. We just regroup behind cover. Sign, giving them a little bit of push is fine because they really can't do anything about it until their monkey gets back. If you're playing in the open, like, see where they're playing, right? They're playing behind, like, everyone's playing behind the cart. Behind the, the bus, right? Bus. This is a bus. And the monkey just pokes out and pokes back in, right? Whenever he needs to. Instead, we're playing in the open, in the open, in the open. Why are we playing in the open so much? That's the only reason their fire has gotten so much value. Play with cover more. Especially against spam heroes like Farah. Or Hanzo or Jankrat. Use the wall so that they don't get as much value. Nah, I'm gonna say that's a final. I don't expect you to get a ton of value out of the soldier ult every time. You can kill the Farah here though. Unfortunate she got booped away and you got slept. You're hard focusing the Farah now, though you shouldn't. Well, you killed her, but your monkey died. Again, if you're having trouble against the Farah, the best way to deal with the Farah is kill everyone else first. Then you can do the Farah. Me and Soldier here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um If the best way of dealing with a Farah when you can just shoot her out of the air is getting everyone else first. Because then it's just a Farah and a Mercy, right? And Farah actually doesn't have a very big um rate of fire. Her rate of fire takes a uh, she takes a long time to fire again. So while she can do good damage, it takes a long time. And the more time you give her, the more she's gonna get value out of those. They also have like literally every ult they, ha they could have. 
I, I believe the only way we hold this is if you just throw a big diva bomb and get the pharmacy or the merchant Diana. We need to get the merchant. And at this point, with you being so low, you, I would have just thrown it out there. Unfortunate, Nade, we just died. We could have eaten it, but it's okay, you are escaping. And without the Mora, it's just lost. We don't even want to use odds. Now it's like, even if it gets a couple picks. Like, you got one pick, we use ults, we all use ults, I'm surprised. That was so many ults, oh my god. Didn't need, didn't need, right? And even this one, I would say, it didn't get value. Because, yeah, you killed the Saria when she was very low, but... um, You got pooped away, very, very, very early in the fight. But Panda, yeah, you got value, and let's say, J-Mac, you got value. Didn't need this one, you just popped it because you were low. Definitely didn't need this one as well. Like, what are you doing, kiddies? Who are you chasing? No one? Got it. Now they just win. Um, I, I just don't expect them to... I honestly don't expect you to win this fight. Considering you have zero ultimates and they have five. What well, they have four. But they just grab you and the monkey farms you and they nano reaper and they nano barrage. They've got so many options and you've got zero options. So your best bet is Nyokshio getting a very early pay. Somehow. Taking the high ground is fine. Again, remember the yo me getting a bigger soldier. Keep dreaming. <laughs> um, again, we have a better front line because with uh, monkey, diva, monkey, diva, and reaper. And if you want to include neutron more, that's fine. But I'm I'm just talking about both tanks and the reaper. We can do a lot more than the monkey Saria and the Reaper because with D.Va you can basically buy two seconds of free time by DM and the Reaper. So, but we should do something because again, we are just standing here and taking all the poke from Farah forever. This is fine, they just grab. We just let grab Barrage, it's fine, we just lose it. We just tell the point, don't use any ultimates. Hey, you got a pick. Third point, if you're gonna go hog, you don't want monkey. Um you probably want both hog. I mean Sigma or you probably want Vine. You did get a pick, you killed the Saria after your team got fucked up by the craft barrage, but you did kill the Saria, so you did get one pick. Now we're playing this is the most produce you can play. I got energy. Yeah, honestly. Not if you can get a single pick, that was your choice. So yes. Okay, now this is a problem. A very big problem because we're playing Sigma Roadhog, who are angles, with Reaper Soldier, who Reaper is a brawler, the soldier is kind of spam. Uh, we're playing Brawl support, so we basically have a brawl comp, but with a Sigma tossed in and a Soldier tossed in. It's just weird. We should, should have to give the Ryan, honestly. If you're gonna play this, then you need to swap this, and maybe this, and maybe this, and maybe this. Right now, you, you cannot play angles. All the angles you can play is Sigma, Rotor. That's it. That's your angles right now. You're basically playing, going to be playing this as Pro again. Which is gonna infuriate me because I told you a million times not to play this compass bro. Basically, you could have gotten more value out of here if you just held the Reinhardt shield. Rather than the Sigma shield. Because you're basically going to be shield botting right now because you're brawling. Imagine, if we had Ryan here, I was playing the corner, you could have just gotten them all. 
Instead, you just get Divin and probably gonna die because Sigma is very weak against Dive. Much more coordinated Dive. Yeah, you just die. Unlucky. Decent old. Like, honestly, the Mercies are a really good pick. If you can get the fire at you, uh, you can not. Unlucky. Yep, we just go still heroes now. Someone go Ball, someone go Diva, someone go Tracer, someone go May. Supports are already good. Call is good, but can anyone touch? Someone could have touched if we had come like Ball or Diva at least. We still touch. We get a pick, good job. Call is really good. Uh, we're Reaper Dice, we are not focusing literally anyone down. Like, look at this. We are not focusing anyone down. Uh, no, I will ban that person. Ban... FD... whatever. Do I have a ban command? I thought I did. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, some uh, Sigma really, really bad at holding spaces this close. Really bad at stalling. You definitely should have a combo. Or team at least. Good beat, we needed it. So this fight is winnable. Still winnable. Good suck, really good suck. You prevented him from getting value from the thing. Yeah, you guys got this one. And they go Ryan, because they cannot dive on third point anymore. This would be a good moment to drop, but we're not going to. Again, the problem with this is... You are playing Sigma with a Brawl comp. And Sigma is the worst Brawl hero, the worst Brawl tank. Should definitely have gone Reinhardt, or should definitely have gone Hog Sigma angles with like a sniper and a Hanzo or, or, or a Genji, right? Or something like that, but not this hybrid composition. Also, you're holding too far forward. If they have a Lucio, they will just speed on to you and kill you. Hmm. Hold here. You can get the same value by shooting your orbs from here. Now from here. And your retreat would have been faster as well. You're just gonna get sped on and killed. Oh, they don't have Lucia, they can't speed you. You're just gonna get killed. Decent. Uh, I don't like that you're in the open. Maybe it will get cancelled, but... You can get some at least some cooldowns on using this. Yeah, look at that. And it doesn't get cancelled. That's pretty solid. We can we could have killed the Ryan if we had focused them, but no one did. And you landed behind them, which is not where you wanna be, you're probably gonna lie. Nyoksha dies, they use barrage. Which again Diva would have been good for it. We just lost at this point. You're just gonna press Q with no health and die, yeah. Music lasted a long time, but I think you guys, yeah, you guys just lost that. Okay, that was an interesting Numbani. Let's just call it, let's just, let's just call it interesting Numbani. Um, your dive, I've noticed your biggest problem right now with your dives is your rotations. You just take paths that just, you are taking so much damage because you're taking the wrong paths. Um... Again, when you were trying to come this way, you guys just stood here for about 20 seconds taking damage and you really don't want to do that. Then you went with Brawl and you you went high ground, which is fine. Uh, it's what you want to do with Brawl and you're gonna, you are gonna die to the Farah Barrage, which is fine. And then you got Lucio, which means that you can actually go up here and try to clean the high ground. Force people to drop, right? Speed on two people and kill them if they don't drop. But instead you went low ground twice, which was not the best idea. So again, you just have to get to the high ground. Uh, on defense, you guys did pretty solid. You just 
I still don't know how you lost that fight. I think you half of it was just kiddies whooping everyone around and not letting anyone in the team shoot. And half of it was it that you just didn't have a target focus, but probably both connected one with the other. So, yeah. And then on second, you just lost two ults. You just didn't have enough ults. You had a really good hold when you had less ults. And then you lost, and on third, you just play Sigma Hog with a Brawl, which is not what you want to do. Okay, that's probably it then. It's been not that long, actually. I thought it would have been a little longer. Um, actually going to take a break. My boss is killing me today. So I, I will end the stream there for today. If you guys have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. And no ratings, because I've already rated you all. Alright, I'm gonna be calling it there then. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you guys later. And I'll drop the highlight link in the, in the channel as usual.